Hey everyone, welcome to Worth Playing for October 4th. Uh, even though it is the month of Shocktober in the year of Luigi, uh, we're not going to be looking at any horror games this week. There are other games out there. I don't always like to pretend that there are, but I am forced to every once in a while acknowledge there are other types of video games. Uh, so, as usual, we've got a bunch of weird, cool, interesting things to check out. First one we're going to be looking at is Mond Cards. Uh, and as is the case with all these other videos, um, you can check out links to the games in the YouTube description or in Worth Reading. Uh, also, I don't tend to check out these games very much before I play them, so you're going to watch me struggle through them. Uh, but usually it goes pretty okay. Uh, so, Mond Cards. Uh, let's see. Uh, advance, Z space, enter. Switch, left, right. Okay, yeah. Just do that for 15 minutes. Part one, understanding. Uh, <laughs> all right. I definitely like the music so far. Am I supposed to be doing anything? Or are we just enjoying ourselves? I have reloaded the game. I thought I should come back and look at the beginning of this again. Advance, Z, space, enter. I was hitting those keys. Switch, left, right. Okay. So, enter. Okay. Maybe I have to click on the screen? I can just watch this intro over and over again. That's fine with me, too. Part one, understandings. Make sure I'm hitting the keys. Ah, weird. Keyboard was not responding, I guess. I have come all this way. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, fine. You can have something. Ah! Where are your eyes, buddy? Where are your eyes? Is this Pan's Labyrinth? Are they on your hands? Card Giraffe Mon. Okay, the easiest version of the game. So simple that even toddlers can understand it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh. Three cards, pick one, discard the other two. Um, what do I want the box that seems like... Seems like maybe like a laser shot, like. Pew. Oh, and I'm I'm not gonna pick a box again. I gotta go for variety. I'm gonna win. You can't stop me, brother. What is that?
Is that it? End of part one. Yeah, I, of course I didn't win. Obviously the game is probably obfuscating. Ah, I can just watch these intros over and over again. Uh, obviously the game is purposely obfuscating the, the rules. It's, it's part of the fun, I think. Let's talk to this guy again. Uh, uh. All right, let's do one more round, huh? really mean to me, uh, considering you're the man that didn't explain any of the rules to me. I really don't appreciate that camera angle. <laughs> Definitely suggests that something else is going to happen with that guy's face. Not sure why this is skipping around. Oh, I've got a file finishing in the background. Shoot. Well. God damn it. <laughs> I guess that's mod cards. Uh, it's... This is uh, a sad face. The saddest of faces. Uh, it's, uh, that's, it seems interesting. I, I love the visual aesthetic it's going for. Uh, obviously, the failure state is meant to reinforce not reinforce, but you're meant to fail. Like, there doesn't appear that there's a way that you can actually game the system there because you are purposely not given uh, a sense of what the actual rule set is. Uh, and instead, you're forced to just kind of keep going because there is clearly sort of a storyline that has to play out. I suppose it's possible that as you go through it, you'd be able to interpret more of the rules, then go back and circumvent uh, your lack of uh, understanding of the rules at the beginning of the narrative. But... My guess is that you're just supposed to kind of guide through to the end. Uh, definitely love the aesthetic. It was Dialogue was certainly getting pretty damn weird towards the end of there. And you can't blame the game for Flash crashing. Uh, Flash is dumb uh, and it has a tendency to do that. So I'm not shocked that it crashed. Uh, but we got other games to check out. So I guess that's as good a point as any for us to move on to the next one. Uh, thank you, Mon Cards. I'd... I'm going to have that guitar riff in my head all day long. 40 Stories is our next game, as the gigantic logo in the corner uh, points out. Um, let's go ahead and hit new game. Got a little office spot. A little afraid of offices after spooking with scoops earlier this week. Uh, anyone that saw that uh, knows that if there are spiders in this video game, I'm, I'm going to turn it off. So please don't have spiders. 40 stories. 40 stories of spiders. Look so bored and lonely in there in there. I thought I, as the assistant manager, could give you some work to do. Or Who is she talking to? Rather bad. Seems like she's I having like a, a mental breakdown. Oh, I've got something for you to do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the elder! Do something! Uh, no need to fear, Anita. I'll go see what's happened. Really seems like Anita is tripping on drugs. Uh, that's my cue to leave. It's, yeah, leave your drug rehab program. Alright. Hit spacebar to talk to me, Anita, since I know the sound of my voice pleases you. Fanboy. Sort of a generic boss, nerd, attractive woman setup. Yeah, it's true. Next level. I don't. What is going on in those cutscenes? I'm not really sure. This must be awesome, sort of setup for what's actually going to happen. What? 
terminal? Success! Clones? Hmm. Oh, I didn't, I missed that first piece of dialogue. What about this green computer? <laughs> Sneak around the side. More repeated dialogue. Ooh. Uh. Okay, unexpected. Unexpected travel through fax machine twist. I don't have time to stop. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's see what's let's see what's going on here, Anita. Are you still on a drug trip? Hmm. Are you another temp? I don't want another temp. I thought I remembered telling myself the last temp I had would indeed be the last temp I ever had. Of course, that was after she died. Um, I'm not a temp. I work in Texas. Lies! Take this, insidious scum! <laughs> Excuse me. The fog always gets me. Yes. An excellent opportunity to test my new invention. It's a new invention that helps you uh, with your back support. Okay, so now I'm controlling two of them at once. Nothing going on down there. Uh, Quantum okay. destabilization detected. Okay. So probably got to hit this. And hit this, and then I can have that character stay there. Do I have to do it at the same time? I bet. Critical power failure. Look at that. Switching to backup in 10, 9. Manual override detected. Have a nice day. So that clone just, I guess, sticks it out there, whereas the main Anita continue forward. Okay. Hit the space bar of the cot machine to make clones of yourself. Alright. So now I've got my first clone. Okay, but it doesn't actually, the clones don't appear near you. Okay, I still can only do one of them at a time, I guess. Okay. And that opens this up. What if I... Hitting those at the same time doesn't do anything. I'm not really sure what the... Okay. So move that far enough over there. Anita can make it to the exit. I beat it! Okay. Let's see where this is going. Kind of interesting. 
Um, this is a game that was made a couple of years ago. In fact, I think uh, it was made by a user on the site, uh, either by himself or with a, a team. So, you know, put this game in context. You don't have to pay for this on Steam. You can just go to, uh, I think it's ModDB, uh, and download it yourself. So it's, it's, it's worth, you know, you got to look at games in the context of what they were made for, why they were made, how they were made, who was involved. Uh, and I think when you look at at 40 stories in that context, uh, you know, you can certainly appreciate uh, some of what it's going for uh, in a way that, that wouldn't be appreciable if, like, I was to tell you, hey, go pay $9.99 for this on Steam, uh, which is certainly uh, not the case. Um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I like games. You know, as I have said before, not enough people played The Swapper. Uh, a game that is explicitly uh, also about cloning things and then uh, sort of stacking them on top of different objects and using that in order to progress uh, further into the game. Uh, so I certainly like puzzles of that nature. And uh, for for free, you could do a whole lot worse. That's 40 stories. Let's keep going. Uh, if you remember, not too long after I moved out of Chicago, there was a weird game that I looked at by myself called Crypt Worlds. Uh, it's from a designer, Lilith Megiddo. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Uh, and there's a brand new game out from this designer called uh, Symbol. Um, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> but if you played or saw Crypt Worlds, you know how weird this stuff can get. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just... You haven't made any money. I'd like to help you make some money. Just take those burgers off. Just give me one of those burgers. Well, all right. Let's see what's around the corner. Oh, okay. Ah! I don't know why that scared me. I didn't expect to pick that up. <laughs> uh, can I give this to you? Okay. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Hope things turn around for you. Click, click, click. Got a reticle like a gun. I don't think I can use any of these uh, items, though. What's going on over here? Oh, it looks like a like a like a bed full of blood or something up there. Let's put that symbol down. Nope. Okay. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Nothing down there. But I do want that key. Great. I love keys. Hey, buddy. Look, just look happy. Nothing. Can I put something on here? Like symbols, maybe that's referencing, like, oh, take one of these. All right, I'm just collecting so much shit because I'm so baller. You can't stop me. There's nothing in this world that's gonna stop me from collecting more stuff. I see something in the distance. I'm gonna go find it. I'm gonna see what stuff is there. I'm gonna take it. Can't. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time collecting symbols. Don't know what to do with these symbols. So someone tell me. Maybe I return them here? Seems like. Hmm. Click, click, click. Nothing. Click, click, click. Okay, fine. I don't want to click on any of those grave sites anyway. Uh, let's jump. Hmm. I mean, I haven't messed with any of the games from this uh, designer other than Crip World, so this, you know, might potentially be more in line with their output. Oh, that's similar to that face. Hmm. Let's see, any 
anything going on over here. I, that makes me a little bummed that I didn't go and finish Crip Worlds. I need to see more of what was going on in that game. Someone bugged me about that. I mean, I guess, I suppose if anyone cares if they want to see more Crip Worlds. Ooh. Uh. Ah! Why do I, why do I keep letting that scare me? Ah! Am I doing it right? Why is it green now? Uh... Hard to tell if it crashed. Or if that's the end. That's symbol. That seems weird. I feel like there is probably a lot more to that that I didn't see, um, especially given how strange and dynamic Crip Worlds was as well. But, hey, certainly interesting, uh, which is always the case, uh, it appears, with uh, with games from uh, Lilith M Megiddo. Megiddo? Apologies if somehow Lilith, you were watching this and I mispronounced your name. Um, but that's symbol. You can check it out. It's free. PC, Mac. I think Linux too, because why not? Everyone's into Linux these days. Uh, weird. Weird. I have to see if there's more to that. Um, weird. So our next game, our almost last game, is something a little less weird and abstract. Uh, Metal Shinobi Assassin. Uh, which also is just a badass name for a game. Uh, I mean, look at that fire. It's almost like Godzilla went through there. Sorry, I have... That Godzilla teaser on the brain from Gareth Edwards. You should go watch Monsters. That's why he got the Godzilla gig. Okay. Alright, so I can throw up grenades. Uh, that recharges. I can jump. Double jump. Shoot my machine gun. Uh, shoulder buttons don't do anything. sword or anything. Definitely got a metal slug vibe. I wish I could reassign the controls. Boom, boom, boom. I guess you just have to keep bombing these guys. Boom, boom. Ah. Ah. Oh man. Not going well for this metal assassin. I really don't like the layout on this keep on this gamepad, to be honest. I wanna get another shot. Okay. Like I wish this was jump was A, but it's not, it's a missile. So jump, missile, shoot. Better already. Definitely an awkward layout. Oh, show. All right, I'm gonna take these guys out. Boom, one down. One is ah. Gotcha. 
Boom. Need some time to recharge, but I don't got it. Come on, explode. This definitely reminds me of that game they were playing uh, last week. And uh, last week when I mentioned, like, ah, what was that SNES game? It was like you were as a mech, and people pointed out it was Cybernator, which is, which is definitely the game that I remember as a kid. Oh, man. Not looking good. Not looking good for this samurai. That's Metal Shinobi Assassin. I feel like that gets the point across. I think that game, this is a ton of fun. Uh, I wish it was a little more customizable, but uh, as with a lot of the games that end up uh, here on uh, Worth Playing, uh, it's free. And maybe a key, I don't think a keyboard would be better. I just, I wish I could jump with A. That's just what's kind of tripping me up because every game I've ever played basically has A uh, assigned to it. So certainly something that I could come to grips with uh, but I just assume play it the way that I, I'm used to. Uh, so that's Metal Shinobi Assassin. Uh, why don't we move on to the last game for this week, uh, which will probably not have any Shinobis or Assassins, unfortunately. I apologize in advance. Last but not least, we have Not Enough Plumbers 2. I am unaware of the first one. There may not even be a first one. The two may be a play on words or some sort of joke that I don't get. Um, oh, I went down. I went down that toilet. Okay. Let's head down this toilet, buddy. Oh, move, jump, reset, space. Uh, move and jump with the arrow keys. Collect coins to create clones. <laughs> oh, holy crap! Oh man. Is the game, are you supposed to try and get there as many clones as possible? Or is that just allowing you to survive? <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Really like the sound effects. That might be, big blue switches need 10 plumbers or a super heavy metal plumber. Okay. Ah! Don't die, buddy. Let's keep it together, guys. Woo! Oh, okay, so we gotta try and get everyone on here. Everyone line up. Man up. We got this. Wow, this is, this is really goddamn cool. And it's funny. Oh, does it actually say, okay, so it saves your time. So there's like a kind of a time trial element to it. Don't worry about saving every plumber. It's virtually unusually. It's usually in yeah, it's usually impossible. Words out of Patrick's mouth are usually impossible. Okay, let's line these guys up. Boom. 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 Okay, so those guys are gonna die. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of special abilities. Guys, Enough Plumbers 2, Game of the Year 2013. Holy crap, this is cool. Did I play this one? No, okay. So gold just means you passed it. Uh, the frog power-up lets one plumber run faster and jump higher. You can get... You, you... Reset. You can get a little extra height by pressing jump again in the air. Ah. There's a surprising number of mechanics for a game that on its face seems like it's gonna be a one-trick pony and just sort of a joke. I'm surprised that there's actually this much thought put into uh, everything that's here. I don't mean that to be insulting to the designer as much as it's really not what I expected. Uh, hold the up arrow to master the power of coin jumping. Okay, that's weird. What? Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow. Wow. That's... Man, that is something else, game. That is really impressive. So I just have to, oh, oh. Okay, so I just have to have enough guys to get there. I, could, I guess I could just get to the end with one. Okay, let's give this a second shot. Oh, that's really difficult. What happens if you click walk through? Oh, no. That just kind of gives you the solution. What about this? Can I just skip to the end? No? I thought maybe there might be like a coin jump trick. Uh, can I back out? Yeah. Let's see what, let's see what, it's like we jump all the way to 17. Let's see how ridiculous it gets. That difficulty certainly spikes uh, almost immediately there. Okay. Uh. Oh, got a coin jump. Now all those red blocks are filled in. Okay. Damn game. And that is enough, Plumbers 2. I could sit here and probably play this for another 20 minutes, but I'm not going to. I feel like you get what it's going for. But damn, what a cool game. That is a, such a pleasant surprise. Like, sometimes I pick these games as sort of like one-off jokes, and knowing that when people see me play it, it's probably enough for them. They've gotten sort of enough of the experience out of it. Like, Mon Cards at the beginning, I feel like it's probably a game like that. So sometimes I try and balance how much I should show because I don't want to give up all of it away uh, in, in the video, but also knowing that people don't have the time to check out a lot of this stuff. So, you know, it kind of serves uh, a couple different masters, and I'm, I'm still figuring out how exactly that works for each game. But Enough Lumbers 2 is absolutely something I feel like you should probably go check out for yourself. Uh, there's a lot going on here, and I'm probably going to turn this off, go eat lunch, and then keep playing this uh, while this video exports. But that is worth playing for October 4th, uh, as always. Uh, as I mentioned at the top, uh, there are links to the games in the YouTube description and also in Worth Reading. Uh, in weeks where there isn't a Worth Reading, uh, you know, you can check the YouTube description or just a quick Google search will usually get you a lot of these. Uh, but if you have suggestions or if you're a game designer and you'd like to see your game highlighted and worth playing, I can't guarantee that'll happen. Uh, but you can always email me, Patrick at Giant Bomb, send me a PM on the site, hit me up on Tumblr, yell at me on Twitter. It's kind of hard to not get a hold of me. Uh, but I will see everyone next week.